Oh, shit! I didn't think that would actually work. Oh, fuck. I have to, I have to, I have to kill myself. I think it'd at least just say, game over, you killed Dr. Madnar. But no, it's just like, Dr. Madnar's dead. Oh shit, the, like, Dr. Madnar's dead, the, the plot just can't continue. Like, how, how was I supposed to know that would happen? How was I supposed to know? I really don't know how I was supposed to know. Adios, bitches. <laughs> Get it, they're dogs. They are actual, literal bitches. Well, assuming the girls. They work for some unknown villain, so probably. It's kind of funny when you think about it, because they're not, they're not actually said, oh, the, the, the villain of this story is X. A apparently, the NES version, uh, the actual, I think it was the manual. Or I, might, I might be thinking of the, uh, the, uh, the shitty novel based on, the, on the, the NES version, where it's like the vill villain's called like Vernon Katafi or something. something. Something really fucking stupid like that. And it's like, that's the name of the villain. Then it turned out that's not, not the case. And actually, even the game itself never mentions anyone by that name. Oh, I'm not gonna kill him this time. You fell into my trap. The real Doctor Man now is on the second floor. Die, fox out. So I was right to kill him. The best way to succeed at the game is to shoot the guy that you you, you think you're trying to save. Oh, there's a door. Well, I'll give him credit for one thing. It's something you always want to do in a game, isn't it? You, you always come up with a situation where it's like, okay, this guy is going to betray me, so I'm going to... I'm just going to kill him now before before he can even try. And you do that, the fire trooper, I'll burn you to a crisp. Oh, there's no gas. But yeah, it's like, it's, it's, it's one of those, isn't it? Like, you're always, like, in any game where it's like, this guy's going to betray you, it's like, cannot just shoot him because I know what's going to happen. And this game's like, it's like, yeah, go on then. Fuck. Yeah, I did it. <laughs> Oh no. Even more elevator business. But, I got a level 6 security card. And so there's more rooms I need to check for 5 and 6 for. And. I don't think I could go for a door before, could I? Fuck you, Vernon Katafi. Your evil minions will not slay me! Oh, so I have been here. I don't care anymore. I'm just gonna GTFO. Oh! This lo so, it's, the game didn't tell me but it seems this lift is broken and can't go downwards. How it ended up on the uh, in the basement floor then? I have no idea. Like how how does that work? It's like okay, this lift can't go down. Sure, why not? I can I, I can accept that as a concept. I don't know why it's not the whole thing hasn't been decommissioned and replaced or at least sealed off. But sure, why not? Maybe, maybe decided well. It's, it'll be a while before we fix it. Let's set it as a trap for this intruder. Sure, I can buy that. But, what I can't buy is the fact that this thing that can't go down, somehow goes down. Ne ne ne, ne 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 ne, ne 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 ne, 
ねえねえねえねえねえねえねえねえねえねえねえねえねえねえねえねえねえねえねえねえねえねえねえねえねえねえねえねえねえねえねえねえねえねえねえねえねえねえねえねえねえねえねえねえねえねえねえねえねえねえねえねえねえねえねえねえねえねえねえねえねえねえねえねえねえねえねえねえねえねえねえねえねえねえねえねえねえねえねえ What? A, a desert in the middle of a base. And I need this. This game is just mental. Wait, what the fuck? What the fuck was that? Oh god, I, I don't know where I am anymore. Help me, help me, game. I can't look to, to, to take this, 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 this horrendous abuse. And it's level one. Oh. Nee, 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 nee. Not fighting you. See, it's just bullshit. How can you call it? How can you call it a real stealth game? If there's so many situations where enemies just see you and enemies see you as soon as you enter the room, i.e., there is absolutely no possibility of using stealth. I love the. The, the way the guard's vision works in this game. It's just, just so fucking stupid. Is this the real one? I am Dr. Drago Petrovich Madna. My daughter Ellen is a hostage. His name's Drago. Drago! I bet that's how, how, how the, the plot twist is. He's some kind of Russian Superman. He tries to punch Snake to death. And Snake's like, whatever's G. Snaps his neck. Unless you help Ellen, I won't tell you... <laughs> If you don't save my daughter, I won't tell you how to avert, the, avert a, a nuclear weapon strike. Um, look, mate, I get it. You know, I get that you want to bargain for the safety of your daughter. But saying you won't help prevent a nuclear attack makes me want to shank you, okay? The basement of Building 1. I don't know what Building 1 is. Building one. Do you mean building one of this section or building one of the game? Bullshit. It's all bullshit. All of it. Uh, there's so many rooms to check in this fucking game. See, now the game's, the game's level design is getting fucking bullshit. It's just throwing shit. It's just throwing shit at me. That's completely unavoidable. It's like, oh yeah, you enter this room. Well, well, surprise. The enemy are alert now. <laughs> um, thanks. I, see, this is not my fault. I'm not playing the game poorly. I'm playing the game just normally. The game's just like, nah, nah. You have, you have to get seen here. And it isn't like that one time when the game's like, oh well, the uh, the, the enemy the enemy sees you as, so they can uh, uh, capture you as part of the plot. This is just the enemy sees you because fuck you. Ooh, the icy. I 
ice cream van is just... What's this chemical? An antidote. So someone's going to poison me down the line. Who gives a shit? I am running. And GFO. I am. Get the fuck out. Oh shit. Uh, down here. No. No one could have seen me. How dare you? I mean, in real life, obviously they would have, but with this, with this game's logic, no, they couldn't have. No, so apparently none of these security cards work on this door. Though I was panicked and rushing, so I'm going to have to check them all again just to make absolutely sure none of them work. Nope. This game is just ridiculous. And you got this door to check. I mean, that's basically all this game amounts to, just checking doors. There's nothing memorable about the level design. That's one of the biggest flaws with this game. The level design just... I mean, yeah, it was a first stealth game, I get that. But really, if the level design's going to be this bland, it, needs, it should have been more linear. Because when you have to go back through the same areas over and over again, you need to be able to remember where everything is. Thank you for saving me. You should be able to contact Jennifer from the resistance on frequency... 120.48 Okay, let's try it. Ah. Probably needs to be like five stars. Nope. Well, well yeah, but we have to like five stars to be able to con contact her. I mean, that's bullshit. It's like, you have to be high class to talk to her. It's like, think about this logically. I'm here to, to topple this, this regime. She's part of the resistance against this same regime I'm trying to topple. And she won't help me unless I'm a high rank. Like, how would she even know? It's kind of like Metal Gear's always had this weird problem where, like, characters just know things on the other side of the radio. I mean, I get that it, it saves time on having the characters say, say um, such a body that this is the situation. Sure, I get that, but still, it's just so weird how characters know things. I mean, at least in, in like some of the games set later in the timeline, they've got nano machines. So you can say, oh, well, they just monitor them over. Or, or, or monitor the nano machines so they can get all the information, but no. That's not in it yet, this is just a normal radio. And people just know what rank I am. Speaking of, how do I even get a promotion? I did, Do I call Big Boss and say, Yo, Big Boss, I just killed this arsehole. And Big Boss is like, Good job, Snake, you made me proud. Eh, oh shit, oh shit, oh f- oh, I oh. have to go back there. And go, Yo, Dr. Maddie. Wait, what? You can't do that. You can't just set enemies on me without any kind of thing to say the enemy are alert. I assume those are instant death pits. I'm not entirely sure. Because they don't really do that in, in, in later Metal Gear games because it's fucking stupid. Oh my god, seriously? How many doors does this game need that you can't get through that, that, that fucking level 6 security clearance? And I wish there was a way to, to keep track of where you've been and where you don't need to go. Because this game is really getting on my nerves. 
it's actually it's one of those where like you have a series and like the original is actually kind of shit. I mean, I thought I thought uh, Metal Gear Solid One had problems. Never had the original Metal Gear itself. 